Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Beautical. My name is Archana, and if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and let's get right into the video. Today's makeup look is this very very simple everyday office kind of makeup look. This look is a very quick to achieve a makeup look. You will not take a lot of time in doing this because it doesn't involve a lot of steps, but at the same time it makes you look yourself but better. So I'm starting off with this morning nectar from Biotique. It's their moisturizer and I'm going to apply this all over my face. That's going to be the base. And then moving on to primer, I'm using this Milani Prime Perfection Pore Primer. And I'm just going to mainly concentrate on my T-zone and also where I have large pores. And whatever is remaining on my hand, I'm going to move it on to the rest of my face. And then I'm going to contour under my foundation today because I want it to look very, very natural. So I'm using the D14 foundation shade from the Krylin Derma range. And I'm using a brush that I got from Nika for highlighting. But I like this more for this precise kind of contouring. So I'm going to contour my cheekbones, my forehead. Today I'm also going to contour my nose because I'm doing a very natural kind of a contour. So I'm going in for a nose contour as well and under my jawline. And then I'm just going to take a damp sponge. This is a YBP Makeup Perfector sponge. And I'm just going to blend away all those contour lines that I have just made with the foundation shade. And then I'm just going to use this another foundation shade called D64 from Derma Range of Krylin Professional Makeup. And I'm just going to highlight. I'm going to use it as a highlight shade. And I am just going to highlight under my contour so that my contour is very very precise and it looks very sharp and then I'm going to use the same D64 shade and I'm going to mix it with this D31 orange corrector and this Ben Nye RHY1 yellow highlight and I'm just going to cover up the dark circles under my eyes and I'm also going to brighten them up a little bit with the help of the yellow corrector and the shade D64. And using only D64, I'm also going to highlight the bridge of my nose and also the center of my forehead. And then I'm going to use this BB cream from LA Girl. And I'm just going to dot it on my entire face and using a damp YVP Makeup Perfector sponge, I am just going to blend all of that into my skin. So because I've contoured and highlighted under the foundation or the BB cream, it's going to look quite subtle and that is exactly what I'm going for today. And then I'm just going to correct the corners of my mouth very slightly with the orange corrector shade and the foundation shade D64 because that area can be pretty dark for me and it is quite visible. You can totally skip this step if you don't face this issue. And then I'm using this luxury powder from Ben Nye in the shade Banana. And first, I'm going to remove any creases that might have formed under my eyes in all this while. And then I'm just going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and first apply the powder under my eyes. This small flat eyeshadow brush is very, very useful for that precise application of powder just under the eyes. And then taking a big fluffy powder brush, I'm just going to powder my entire face with it to set everything in place. And then I'm using this blush shade from Contour the Force Face Palette from Sugar Cosmetics. And I'm just going to very slightly blush up my cheeks just to add some color to the otherwise flat face. I'm not going to use the contour shade because I've already contoured under the foundation. And then using this highlighter shade, I am just going to apply this highlighter on the cheekbones and also on the brow bone. And I'm just going to use my ring finger to highlight the brow bone. And then just to give some dimension to the eyes, I'm just going to use the contour shade from the face palette and I'm going to apply it all over the lid. This is 
very close to my skin tone so it's not going to look like i have an eye shadow on but at the same time it will definitely give some depth and dimension to the eyes and the eyes will not look completely naked and then using this deep brown shade from the ben nye essential eyeshadow palette i'm just going to go ahead and fill my brows in very very quickly i am not going to overdraw them or i am not going to change any shape i am just going to fill up any gaps that are visible through the brow hair and then i am just going to brush the brow hair up with the help of a dry mascara wand you can also use a transparent mascara or a brow gel to keep the brow hair in place and then i am using this eyeliner called arrested for overstay from sugar cosmetics and i am just going to create a very very thin eyeliner line very close to my upper lash line this is going to give definition to the upper lash line very very slightly if you can't make a thin line with a liner you can also take a kajal pencil and you can tight line the eye it will almost kind of give the same effect tight lining basically means you fill in the upper waterline with the kajal pencil and then i'm using this mega protein mascara from wet and wild cosmetics and i'm going to apply this mascara on to my upper and lower lashes and i'm going to make sure that my lashes are very well defined because there is nothing much going on on my entire face you can also curl your lashes and then apply mascara if you want my lashes are already curly so i don't really need to curl them before applying mascara you can definitely consider adding that step because it beautifully opens up the eye and the lashes really look very very nice Moving on to lips I am using this lip pencil from Pack Cosmetics in the shade Natural and I am going to line my lips with this and also going to fill them in with this lip pencil this is the only lip product that I am going to use today you can use a nude lipstick you can use a gloss if that is what you prefer but I am going to stop at this lip pencil today and with that this extremely simple and doable everyday makeup look is complete you can wear this for office you can wear this for college this is something that you can achieve very very quickly without spending a lot of time on makeup every day in the morning so i hope you really enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up if you did to let me know that you did like it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications button to get notified whenever my upcoming videos are out thank you so much for watching and i will see you again very very soon in my next video till then take care bye bye